Eyewitness News at 6. Good evening once again. There are new charges tonight for the driver of a Maserati sports car accused of killing two people in an alleged drunk driving crash last year. 34-year-old Antonio Brown faced arraignment in court today on a new grand jury indictment, charging him with aggravated vehicular manslaughter. That crash in South Buffalo last year claimed the lives of two cousins, Anthony 25 III and Kristen LeBruno. Today's indictment follows almost a year of investigation and speculation about the case as well. Tonight's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui leads us off with the new information that you're seeing first here on 7. Good evening to you, Keith. We were here at the courthouse this morning, but not allowed in the courtroom due to capacity reasons. The moment that indictment was unsealed, charging Antonio Brown with a host of crimes related to that deadly October crash. Erie County District Attorney John Flynn, though, explaining that this is a case 10 months in the making. 34 year old Antonio Brown walked into court a free man Tuesday and was led away in handcuffs. Prosecutors say he was the one driving the 2008 Maserati on Seneca Street in South Buffalo last October when he crashed into another car. 33 year old Anthony 25 III and 32 year old Kristen LeBruno were both killed. Nothing glamorous about this case at all. I have a, a 33 year old who's passed away and a 32 year old who's passed away who were cousins. They were cousins. According to Erie County District Attorney John Flynn, Brown was drunk and speeding when the crash happened, but he wouldn't get into specific evidence related to those allegations. COVID-19 played a role in delaying these charges. Grand jury proceedings were shut down for months, but Flynn also says processing the scene itself proved to be challenging. The bottom line is that it was not crystal clear who was driving a Maserati. And so I had to button that up. I had to dot that I and cross that T. I got it now though. The case has generated a lot of public interest since last October and a lot of speculation about who was involved and whether their behavior was criminal. Flynn is addressing some of those rumors. The fact that he was related to Mayor Brown, totally not true. The fact that he was a Buffalo Bill, totally not true. true. Uh, the fact that he was being chased from the West Seneca Police Department, uh, totally not true. Brown's attorney declined to comment after the arraignment. He's being held on $50,000 cash bail and his driver's license has been taken away. I'm Edge Ranch. Despite these very serious charges against Antonio D. Brown, there are still many questions about the investigation into this deadly crash, chief among them surrounding the so-called black boxes and blood alcohol content. A police source tells the I-Team the 2008 Maserati Brown was driving was manufactured before there was a requirement to have black boxes or vent data recorders in cars. Beyond that, the I-Team is told what was taken was thought to be the black box, but was a different device now referred to as a module. We're told Buffalo police were unable to recover any crash data from that device. District Attorney John Flynn says differently. You can get information off the module. What can you get off of it? Um, you can get speed off of it. You can get other information off of it. All right. So I'm not telling you what I got off. Of it, okay. But in general, okay, you can get information off that module. Still, the I team is suing the Buffalo Police Department over its refusal to release documentation to the public, detailing the process used to get that information from the black boxes. Police say the DA is not allowing them to release that documentation. Investigators say Kristen LeBruno and Anthony 25 III, who we've now learned were cousins, were killed when they were hit by Brown. The DA says he could have arrested Brown in February or March, but decided to wait based on strategy. The suspect isn't arrested like right away within the first 48 hours or so, all right? Um, and and I, 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 I solved the case after the fact. Um, I normally don't arrest. I normally just put it right in a grand jury. In the indictment handed up by a grand jury, Brown was said to be driving drunk and reckless. It does not detail his blood alcohol content and the DA would not reveal that information either. While he's not facing separate drunk driving charges, DWI is included in the larger felony case. For the I-Team Edge Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News. And there was no future court date set in this case. It does still need to be assigned to a judge. If convicted, Antonio Brown faces 25 years in prison. We're live in Buffalo, Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News.